Hello friends, hola amigos. Today we're going to check out this wireless CarPlay device. Welcome to this new video. So first do the unboxing and then we do the installation in the car. If you want to skip directly to the chapters, please feel free to do in the video description. So we have the little manual. We have the mount, which you can see here, with suction cup. And we have the device itself, well packed. And there you go. charging cable with USB port and an audio cable with mini jack connection. So before I go any further I have to mention that Auto ABC, the brand of this device, sent me this device in order to show it on my channel but as always I give my honest opinion. So thanks to this de device you will have wireless CarPlay and that makes that you can make calls browse Google Maps, use Waze, play music, receive text messages, and all hands-free. It's plug and play and fits in every vehicle. So really nice if you don't want to install a complete aftermarket system to replace your setnav system, you easily install this with the suction cup, just plug and play. So the 360 degree mount with suction cup is included. You can also choose for a self-adhesive bracket. That one is no longer included in the kit, but for about eight euros, you have it on AliExpress. So you don't need to disassemble the car console. You can keep the original car radio and it coexists perfectly. And as you can see here, it is powered by the cigarette lighter, which goes between 12 and 36 volts. So you can use it in a car or in a truck or in a Jeep. No problem whatsoever. One thing I have to note, you can't use steering wheel controls. So if you have steering wheel controls, that won't be compatible, but everything will be voice controlled with Siri. So that's no problem. The audio can be used in four ways. You can use Bluetooth. You can use the aux connection with this cable, but you can also use the FM transmitter. So that means that the device transmits an FM signal to your car radio. And this way you can use the car stereo for all the sounds. And it also had, has a built-in speaker for, with two watts. Here on the side you can see the connectors. So it is for the power. There is a TF card slot and you can use memory cards up to 256 gigabytes. There is a USB port as well. Your AV in and this is for the... If you want to install a reverse camera, you can buy this kit. If between 55 and 75 euros right now it is at 55 euros and if you want a set with a reverse camera included for 75 euros you have the device and a reverse camera all together that means that for not even 100 euros you have carplay in your car you have a reverse camera and you can use all the things that modern cars has as well let's check the manual so you can see the bluetooth connection you can apple carplay Android Auto, the iPhone mirror link, Android mirror link, wireless connection settings, wireless screen projection. You see how you can install reverse camera. So in this Peugeot 207, I have this little platform and I think it would be really nice to have the device just up here. See the suction cup already holds straight away. I had the impression it was some kind of sticky layer as well. It's really nice and like this it almost looks like original. The cable goes down here and then it goes back here and it retrieves it behind this tray and comes outside here and here I have the secret lighter. So now let's move the protection film and I can start the car to activate the device. And then let's 
activate the power and it starts straight away so the quality of the screen is already really nice as you can see here Screen is really reactive. So now let's try to connect our phone. So on the iPhone we go to the Bluetooth settings and we connect to the car BTC3A5. And the pin count is zero 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 four four zeros. There we have it, our CarPlay. As you can see, this is really reactive. And try to make a phone call. Try some music. And it's really nice because the music is directly coming from the car stereo. So I still have my screen control here, but I can control my volume right here. Really, really nice. So now we're in the CarPlay mode, you can see this really smooth, it re reacts really well, you can access all the typical iPhone settings. So that's really cool. Now to go back to the Android system, you can see we have a navigation bar here as well. You can use iOS mirror link and this is a way to mirror the screen of your iPhone completely to the unit. You can use transmit FM transmit to transmit the audio of the device directly to the audio system of your car. But here as I was already connected with my Bluetooth of my phone to the audio of the car, the audio came directly from the unit and the car itself. You can set the time, 24 hour system. This is for Android Auto, we have CarPlay, so it's here. And then here, go back to the settings. Yeah, in your language settings, phone link, you for the reversing camera. Brightness, touch settings, you can choose the logo. There's only one logo available right now. Then about the color settings and spring aspect ratio, date and time again. And here you can set your background of the unit.
So with this setting, you can see that my audio is coming through the radio and the audio car system. So if I install any radio DAB apps on my CarPlay, then I can listen radio and I also always have my sound from the car itself. So for only 55 euros we had this set, easy to upgrade any car, even this 16 years old car looks really modern right now and has music, Waze, Call, Siri, really nice. So if you like this solution please check it out in my video description, there's a link to Auto ABC. Hope you like this video, don't forget to share, subscribe and like and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye-bye.